Hola a todos y bienvenidos de nuevo a vuestra casa. Bienvenidos de nuevo a este fantástico The Wolf Among Us. Aquí estamos un día más, eh, valga el pareado, eh, para daros la bienvenida. Ya sabéis que es un verdadero placer teneros por aquí. Eh, agradeceros que os paséis y agradeceros muchísimo que reservéis un ratito de vuestro valioso tiempo para poder ver este vídeo conmigo. Vale, pues oye, pues como siempre hacemos también al inicio de cada episodio, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, situarnos en la historia y no os podéis imaginar del episodio del que venimos o sea todos los todos aquellos que lo hayáis visto habréis flipado tremendamente porque eh, por fin localizamos a crane aunque eh, estábamos completamente de acuerdo con blanca nieves en que al final eh, crane yo creo que puede ser un depravado sexual puede ser un viciosillo pero yo no creo que sea el asesino y al final eh, maría sangrienta ese encuentro con el hombre torcido y con su sicaria eh, fue más que evidente porque la sicaria sí que nos eh, afirmó eh, como muy tajantemente en el sentido de, de crane no es el eh, a crane lo, lo necesitamos nosotros porque lo estábamos extorsionando y seguramente que por alguna razón dejó de pagar y lo queremos nosotros y la sicaria nos dijo con mucha solvencia que Crane no era el asesino, con lo cual seguramente que María Sangrienta, eh, Mar María Sangría o Mar María Sangrienta sabe, sabe de qué estamos hablando. María, a ver, dejarme que la vea. María Sangrienta es... <coughs> María Sangrienta, sí, coño. Vale, entonces eh, nos dijo que no era él, con lo cual estamos nuevamente eh, al principio de todo porque ahora mismo eh, nuestro principal sospechoso que era Crane, pues ahora resulta que nos lo han tirado por tierra. Eh, entre medias de todo esto pudisteis ver una, una, un ataque a Wolf impresionante, de verdad, casi nos matan y ahora mismo, pues eh, después de estar súper convaleciente eh, y curado por cuerpo corazón, eh, Cuer, Puer Corazón que es el, el doctor del, del edificio El Bosque pues eh, la verdad que estamos bastante fastidiados pero eh, Sirenita nos ha hecho llegar un mensaje de que quiere hablar con nosotros porque tiene alguna información que además solo nos la puede dar a nosotros a Wolf, entonces estamos en este inicio del episodio número 4 por el que vamos a vernos con, con ella, así que sin más vamos a darle a reanudar el juego porque la historia está súper interesante Hi, Sheriff. Ay, perdonarme. Oficina del Lupo, el edificio del bosque por la mañana. Hola, Nerisa, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué nos vas a contar, Reina? A ver. Have a seat. A ver. I Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Estás hecho una piltrafa, Wolf. <laughs> y menos, y no deberías fumar, compañero. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Soplar y resopar. Casi nadie los fuma. ¿Qué es lo que te trae por aquí? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms, and I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? No, este es siempre. El de los sellos, el de los labios sellados es un encanto para siempre. I don't want to waste your time. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. Is there? more to this business with Crane. You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? 
and these lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Yeah. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I, I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Se trata de Faith y Lily. Trying to say something about Faith and Lily. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Blanca Nieves. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but 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 your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, no, no. I tranquila. thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith four one two. La cinta del cuello. Do you like it? Hmm. Do you? It was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Es la cinta. Ah, quítatela. ¿No se la puede quitar? ¿O qué? Raro, quítala. You mind if I just... No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Vale, 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 vale. Do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Vale, tranquila, Please. venga. Don't. O sea, que el rollo está en la cinta. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, Calmarla, venga, tranquila. Venga, ya, ya has ayudado bastante. Ahora hay que ver. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, uh, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Sí, claro. I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Venga, vale. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Say. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're 
scared about what's been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think mm. she made it as clear as she could have. <clears throat> hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she ah, said no, that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Claro. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Hmm. I have other matters to attend to. Vale. Vale, pues vamos a ver a Bella y a Bestia, a ver qué nos dicen. Pero si sí es verdad que Bella y Bestia desde el principio han tenido siempre algo que ver. Departamento de Bella y Bestia, el edificio del bosque, mediodía. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to you. Fine. Go off in a hop. I'm... I'm through talking anyway. A ver. A ver con vosotros dos, ¿qué os oh. pasa? What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So ah, have you, ya, no? Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust of him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one mm. little thing. Talk about living in the past. Are you fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. No hay nada más, ¿no? Ah, sí, la lámpara, coño. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. 
Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Claro. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, no. we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... ¿Quién es? Es el mismo teléfono que tenía Jorgito. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey, we're not done yet. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. El hombre torcido. El préstamo es con el hombre torcido y ahora no pueden devolverle el préstamo. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Vamos. Venga, hombre, decirlo. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Todo. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's mm. over now. Yeah. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise... That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Y you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. 
Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. Maria. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, and I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Yeah. We shouldn't have Buy to live like young? this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. Yeah. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Vale, tenemos otra decisión que tomar entonces ahora. Tenemos... Eh... Tenemos al Lucky Pound o a la carnicería. En la carnicería está la María Sangrienta y no creo que deberíamos ir allí porque nos tendríamos que enfrentar con ella. Y en el Lucky Pound... Ay, Dios. Vamos a ir a Lucky Pound. No quiero Lucky enfrentar Pound. a María Sangrienta. Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing yeah. left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Ay, hombre. Vaya follón en los que estaban metidos estos dos por culpa del dinero, tío. Vaya follón. Un lobo feroz. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you. I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Coño, oh. Jack. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. 
This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked no. man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Oh, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. It's just... tough, is all. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've gotta be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. A ver tú, Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him, and the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. That, and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that? Yep. Now you're gonna tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. What kind of things does he want in return? It could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to... Novelties of a more exotic nature. Like? Mm -hmm. Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back, you know? What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, alright? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. 
I want. Vamos a mirarlo todo. Isn't this cranes? Maybe. I don't know. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares, really? How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? You, and Grin, and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Esto no sé de quién es. Reciente adquisición. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, I don't, uh... You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't... The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Not my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high. Woody, calm down. Your ex isn't here. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby. What? It isn't? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Que sea rápido. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning... Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures. He's already passed his first class. Este es, see, uh, the sheriff had who he este se está buscando un leñazo. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm uh, just gonna uh, let you two, you know, go fuck yourself, Jersey. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? 
You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk, Bill. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Hey, hey. Still a little sore, are we? Hey, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mary get all the fun. You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. And I will. Oh! You fucking mother. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Vas a enterar, hombre. What are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Bueno, y ahora qué, tío? Me cago en Dios. Ahora qué? Vamos, Bosco, ayuda. Ayuda, Bosco. Vamos, 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 vamos. vamos. Hey, I found her. Try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. And no clue about who is really running this town. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens. Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can 
find some aspirin. Oh, has been in. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those That's girls it. are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do Still to bring them wrong. back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Because... He ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Sí, hombre, sí. Ah, no, le vas a dar un cigarrillo. Mala marca. Soplar y resoplar. Welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> bueno, menos mal que no te equivocaste, hombre. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. Can get the fucker who did it. Sir. Is that the plan? Believe me, that's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. Pues era un buen elemento para llevarlo a la carnicería por si acaso estuviese allí María Sangrienta, eh. Era una buena ayuda la que nos podíamos llevar. Vale, pues parece que yo creo que nos vamos a ir a la carnicería directamente Que dominaba el dinero Carnicería el buen corte, ahí lo tenéis Pero párate un momentín Ahí, fenomenal Párate porque por hoy lo vamos a dejar aquí Ya veis que es impresionante Parece que se está cerrando el círculo alrededor del hombre torcido Vamos a ver si somos capaces Y no por mi torpeza eh, Vamos a ver si somos capaces de llegar hasta ahí Pero como os decía lo vamos a tener que dejar por hoy aquí va a tener que ser eh, la continuación mañana en otro nuevo episodio porque ya sabéis que todos los días tenemos nuevo episodio en el canal pero antes de irme como siempre agradeceros que os paséis por aquí agradeceros muchísimo que reservéis un ratito vuestro valioso tiempo para poder ver este vídeo conmigo y finalmente ya sabéis que nuestra rec la recomendación de siempre es de todo corazón y además que, que os la hago de verdad de verdad de verdad y muy en serio que por favor os cuidéis muchísimo que la vida está muy chunga besitos para ellas Abrazos para ellos. Chao a todos.